Temperatures now not too bad. We're in the 50s. Nice and comfy to start the morning. Temperatures in the low 50s in the Star City. Here's a live look in Roanoke with our Carilion Sky Cam. Winds are calm right now. Dew points are in the low 50s, so that humidity pretty much gone. It was wiped clean, nice and crisp this weekend. Good morning in Iron Gate. Temperatures in the low 50s. A few showers in the mix. A stray shower or two through the afternoon when you're getting off the school bus. We're in the low 70s. I really, really think the best opportunity for rain has already come and gone until we get to this evening. Here we go with the radar picture. Notice that batch of rain really working through mainly north of Roanoke, north and Lynchburg fizzling out though as it worked through the area back off towards the west. Big time cold front and that's going to be the reason for those increasing showers. You see here we have more rain coming out of Kentucky. I really think most of this today going to stay to our west. We're going to have a few showers try to sneak in here late this evening. Tracking that here. Here is four o'clock. Most of us are dry through the afternoon and early evening. There's a stray shower chance, but again, just about a 20% through the afternoon. There is eight o'clock. You see the scattered showers to our west. As that front pushes through, we might be able to squeeze out a few more showers late this evening, but that's mainly after dinner, maybe a stray shower to start our Tuesday, and then we're going to try to clear things out as drier, cooler air punches in. There is that drier, cool air. Look at this. These are actual air temperatures. It's 20 in Denver. We saw that snow 19 in Bismarck, 35 in Omaha. That cooler air is coming this way. Look at that 42 in Dallas. That cooler air sinking into the southern plains. This is no doubt the coolest air the country has seen so far, and we will get in on, on that as we get through tomorrow and especially later in the work week. 64 in Hot Springs today. We are in the upper 70s. Just a couple of showers out there. Nothing that heavy, though. Nothing going to add to the flood threat. Temperatures back in the low 50s overnight. A lingering shower possible, but most of us are dry. Low 60s on Tuesday. We are in the mid 60s on Wednesday, and then there comes that cooler air as we get towards the end of the work week. Highs on Thursday only in the 50s. Overnight low is going to drop into the 30s. First widespread round with the 30s coming our way. That could lead to some patchy frost by Friday morning, Patrick.